Let's do a fantasy check-in on the Chicago Bulls. Zach Levine has been upgraded to questionable, so that ankle injury which cost him the last couple of weeks of action, it looks like that's better there. He's been he was putting up some strong numbers before that ankle injury. Um, had started to drop off a little bit. The efficiency is always in question for Levine, but it's good to see that he is on his way back. Bobby Porter still it looks like a couple of weeks away. I think Porter is really a fringe 12-team league guy. He's going to be playing 20 to 24 minutes, not pushing to 30. I don't believe he doesn't do enough. In defensive numbers, assists, uh, field goal percentage and efficiency can be a real problem for Portis. I think he's more of a 14-team league guy. Well, the player who's putting up numbers that really, you know, I guess, make your eye pop a little bit, and that's seeing Ryan archer Jackano in the top 120. But with Levine on his way back, then Arch has no value outside of deeper leagues. Chrissy Dunn, a must-roster player who's still available in 18% of Yahoo leagues. I don't know why. Averaging 16-5-5 five and five with 1.5 steals and shooting the ball well, 53% from the field. That'll drop, but the steals could actually increase from Dunny. So I do think that he is a, a must-roster guy. While Lowry Markinen struggled with his shot on the return from the elbow injury, but he's a top 40 player at the moment, in large part because he's been able to get his defensive numbers elevated a bit. I think he was at 0.6 steals and blocks per game last season. He's at 0.8 and 0.1 steals and blocks respectively this season. The shooting is back up to 48%. There's a bit of fool's gold, I think, maybe with the shooting that doesn't stick at that level. But Lowry is looking pretty strong. Well, Justin Holiday remains a must-roster player, especially when you're looking for steals and threes, averaging two threes and 1.7 steals, shooting 32%. So you've got to be willing to punt for your goal percentage. Wendell Carter Jr., the big question mark on this team, really struggling. I do like Carter, but he's being miscoached and he can't stay out of foul trouble, so there's blame on both sides there pretty clearly. 21 minutes a game for Carter over the last two weeks, not doing enough, and if you are mid-pack or worse in the standings, I don't think you can hold to wait for it to happen because you might be three months away. It might be two months. It might be one game, but I think given, I think he's a top 50 potential player, but he'd need 30 a night, which seems like a bit of a pipe dream for him to be able to get at the moment. 